although both of these terms are difficult to define within the criminal justice system, crime and deviance are usually looked at being on different ends of a continuum to where offenses that are identified as deviant are usually not identified as criminal, and those that are identified as criminal are not as deviant, except where the middle of the continuum comes together. If we look at the, at the far end of the continuum, say a crime, which is a definition of, you know, a, an act or violation of a, a legal statute that has been enacted by a legislative body, passed by the executive body. If you commit something like a burglary, robbery, homicide, there's not much doubt in society that you've committed a criminal offense. The, the standards within society and across societies are pretty much the same for offenses. But as we start down the continuum towards the deviance end, what we find out is when we get to the top of what we consider the deviant scale or the lower end of the criminal scale, when we start looking at offenses which are criminal, such as truancy or underage drinking or the illegal purchase of tobacco products by an underage individual, when someone finds out that someone had committed one of these offenses, they don't really think of them as a criminal. They think more of them as a deviant, even though the offense is against the law. So it is a criminal offense, but since it's right in the middle of that continuum to where society values are conflicted about whether it should be a criminal offense or it should be a deviant behavior type action, we, we really have a conflict with it. As we continue on down across the scale then, we can start seeing that you know, other acts that are purely deviant that are not criminal, and when we look at some of those, it may be uh, profanity in public or profanity in a certain group which is acceptable, but when you go to a different group, then the use of that profanity is not acceptable. These are what we call you know, our, our definite deviant acts because there are no criminal charges against them. It's just you know, how you identify those people. Then what we also have to look at is what one individual would call deviant or maybe even one culture would call deviant or even criminal is not the same in another culture or even in another state. If you look before 1984 at our underage drinking laws, you could drink in some states at 18, but when you cross the border over into another state, you just committed a criminal act because the age to consume alcohol was 21. So when we look across time, these laws continue to change. Now in every state we've got, the drinking age is 21. Uh, if we look again at how these laws and deviant behaviors change over time and the definitions in our society based on our beliefs and values at the current time, uh, we look at the offense of adultery. In all 50 states at one time, it was against the law to commit adultery. But as moral values changed across society, we now see that every state has dropped the charge of adultery and now it has actually become a de deviant behavior. So if we look at deviance in the continuum up through the crime realm, we notice that things keep moving up and down this continuum. And again, this is all based off the social beliefs and the social norms within our society at the time, which are constantly changing and fluid.